You sold Ryan Connor ten acres? Jenny and Ryan. Did Barry agree to that? I didn't ask him. I talked to Courtney and Dawn, and they said it was all right. I own Dawn's shares. Ryan Connor's not going to build on my land. And he's not going to take this ranch away from me. You don't seem very happy at the prospect of having to fight with Ryan Connor. I guess you think the odds are better fighting me. We're talking about family here, Grandma. Ryan Connor is not family. Jenny is family. By marriage only. Jenny is more of a marshal than you ever thought of being. And I'd rather have a Connor running this ranch as it is than a marshal turning it into an oil field. The only way Ryan Connor will ever run this ranch is over my dead body. Go back to Houston, Justin. You don't belong here. You've never cared about this land or your family or honesty, fidelity or truth. Go chase your dreams of gold in the city where they understand them. Where dreams of gold are more important than Max Decker's life. Because you killed him, Justin. But you're not going to kill me. And you're not going to take this land from me. I'll never let that happen. Come on, Scott. No, Come on. no. You're wrong, Grandma. I didn't kill Max Decker. He killed himself. I have no intention of apologizing for wanting a better life for my children and their children that come after. I'm not trying to kill you. Grandma, I love you. I only want what I'm entitled to. Times have changed, Grandma. A loaf of bread doesn't cost a nickel anymore. Texas isn't just for grazing land. I'm not forgetting my, about the past, but I'm not going to close my eyes to the future either. If you don't want to share in my inheritance, I'll find a way to have it all on my own. I'm going to return the Marshall name to its proper place in this state. I don't want to fight you, Grandma. But I will. And I'll win. There's no way you can win, Justin. There's no way you can win, Justin. Hey, why didn't you wake me up this morning? I left early. You didn't have to get up then. I set the alarm. Didn't you hear it? Why are you wearing your dark suit? Going to Max's funeral. What's the matter? I don't think you ought to go. Why not? Well, because you're not going to be welcome. Max and I grew up together. Don't give me that, Justin. You hated each other. You don't even care that he's dead. People are going to think it odd if I don't go. They may mistake my absence for guilt. Well, now, since when do you care what people think of you? The marshals have an image to uphold. It's very important. I think you should come with me. Huh. If I were to go to that funeral, you could just bury me, too, because Rena would kill me. Up, honey, I brought you some tea. Thank you, but I don't feel like tea. When I went downstairs, you said you were going to get up and get dressed. Come on. I can't find my gloves. I'll, uh, I'll ask Vicky where they are. Max, were, Max and I were going to name our children John Maximilian and Catherine Victoria. I know. If we had a second little girl, we were going to name her Ginny after you. 
Max told me that. Yes. We were going to celebrate our first anniversary at the boathouse. We were going to ask you and Ryan to join us. Oh, Jenny. I can't go to that funeral. I don't want to say goodbye to Max. I can't say goodbye to Max. There you go. I'm sorry it went to pieces like that. It's okay. I hope I don't do that at the funeral. Maybe I should take a tranquilizer. Rita, you don't need a tranquilizer. If you feel like crying, you go ahead and cry. There's nothing wrong with that. I know. I just hate to see anyone see me cry. You'll be all right. Thanks for staying with me, Jenny. I wouldn't have left you even if you wanted me to. I certainly didn't want to stay at the ranch last night with Barrett there. I'm surprised he even showed up. Everyone was surprised. I wonder if he came here because of Max or because of you. Both, I suspect. Ginny, are you going to talk to Barrett while he's here? There's no point in it. He certainly wasn't very pleasant when I saw him last night. That's why I left so quickly. What happened? I walked into the kitchen and there he was. I, I was so shocked that I, I didn't have much to say. Ryan came in after me and... Um, Barrett made a few nasty remarks to him. So we just turned around and left. I thought that doctor in Colorado was able to help him. Well, there was no evidence of that last night. I know that Barrett's upset about Max. And he was disappointed because Steve was away at camp. Maybe if Ryan hadn't been there, things would have been different, but I doubt it. Does he expect to stay very long? Kate told me he was going back to Colorado right after the funeral. For Kate's sake, I wish he'd stay for a while, but... You stay with me as long as you want to. Thanks. Better get up and get dressed now, okay? Why not? I'll go check with Vicky about those gloves. I don't think Reno will object to our being at the funeral. We'll be going to pay our respects. Oh, face facts, Justin. Her whole family's going to object. Your whole family's going to object. Just leave it alone, okay? I think you're wrong, but I won't argue. If you're opposed to going to the funeral, we won't go. Fine. Let's get back to work. Why don't we go out and pay a visit to Grandma? Tell Becky to take the rest of your phone call. Justin. I'm worried about Grandma. Justin, you're not worried about her. You're going out there to see Barrett. Well, Barrett is my brother. I am concerned about him. Well, he didn't seem too pleased to see you yesterday. He was just upset about Max. He's upset because you're hassling your grandmother. Ashley, would you just like me to forget about my whole family? Well, you know what? It may not be a bad idea for a while. Give him some peace and quiet, Justin. Give him some time to get over Max's death. Then you can patch things up. I don't have time. I have to plan for my future now. My future includes that ranch. I'm not giving up until I get control. That will never happen. Just wait and see. Mm -hmm. 